Welcome to Watch Cards Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Knockreiner. Today's video is Black Friday and Cyber Monday tips. Today is the day before the U.S. long holiday weekend for Thanksgiving. And following Thanksgiving is something we call Black Friday, where many U.S. retailers have major sales for the year. And whenever there's a holiday shopping season, cyber criminals aren't far behind. So let me share some tips for how you can protect yourself as you're taking advantage of some of the Black Friday deals. First, let's talk about email. Right now, U.S. citizens are probably getting piles of email in their inbox talking about big discounts and deals. Now, of course, many of those are legitimate, but do know hackers watch that as well. So right now, they're probably sending you emails as well, trying to attract you to even better deals. If deals seem too good to be true, they probably are not true. Also, while you're interacting with some of these deal emails, rather than clicking on the links in them, I recommend actually visiting the site manually and finding the deals manually. That way, if it is some sort sort of phishing attack, you're not going to be affected by it. Also during Black Friday and Cyber Monday, you're probably doing a lot of online shopping. So here's some quick tips. First of all, when you do payment information, look for that green lock in the left-hand corner of your browser. If anything's ever orange or red, you may not want to enter your payment details in that particular site. It's always a great idea to kind of disconnect your credit card from the online shopping site as well. So if you use PayPal and the site support things like PayPal, I highly recommend using it. On top of that, anytime there's a site that offers two-factor authentication, I encourage you to use that as well. Last week I mentioned Amazon just enabled free two-token authentication on their site, so take advantage of that. Finally, right now attackers are leveraging malvertising. That's something I've talked about in previous videos. That means a lot of legitimate online retailers that have built-in advertisements might accidentally serve malware because uh, some attacker paid for ad space. Now, there's there's no easy way to avoid this malvertising because it's in legitimate sites. So to protect yourself, I recommend three things. First of all, in your browser, you want to use some sort of script blocking element like NoScript in Firefox or uh, click to play in Chrome. Also keep your browser and all the software on your computer patched so that drive-by download vulnerabilities can take advantage of old flaws. And finally, make sure you have antivirus and firewalls at your gateway or at least on the host as you're doing your online shopping shopping. In any case, hope these tips keep you safe if you plan on taking advantage of uh, Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Meanwhile, while we're talking about the holidays, do know this will be the last video this week because here at WatchGuard we're going to be enjoying the long Thanksgiving weekend. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.